Hey folks, just a little bit more about me. Every day I carry around with me pocket constitution. Just recently I've received this. It's another pocket constitution and it has uh, uh, an excellent essay in it, but in it it also has a speech that I don't think it's nearly enough attention. I uh, I can't honestly say it was even taught to me in, in school. It was something that I read on the side. And it was Patrick Henry's speech, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death. No man thinks more highly than I do of the patriotism as well as the abilities of the very worthy gentlemen who have just addressed the house. But different men often see the same subject in different lights, and therefore I hope it will not be thought disrespectful to those gentlemen if, entertaining as I do opinions, of a character very opposite to theirs, I shall speak forth my sentiments freely and without reserve. This is no time for ceremony. The question before the House is one of awful moment to this country. For my own part, I consider it nothing less than a question of freedom or slavery, and in pro uh, proportion to the magnitude of the subject ought to be the freedom of the de debate. It is only in this way that we can hope to arrive at truth and fulfill the great responsibility which we hold to God in our country. Should I keep back my opinions as at such a time though fear of giving offense, I should consider myself as guilty of treason of my country and of an act of disloyalty towards the majesty of heaven, which I revere above all earthly things. Mr. President, it is natural to man to indulge in the illusions of hope. We are apt to shut our eyes against a painful truth and listen to the song of that siren till she transforms us into beasts. Is this the part of wise men engaged in an arduous struggle for liberty? Are we disposed to be of the numbers of those who, having eyes, see not, and having ears, hear not, the things which so nearly concern their temporal salvation. For my part, whichever anguish of spirit it may cost, I am willing to know the whole truth, to know the worst, and to provide for it. It does go on for a bit more. But it winds up with this. It is in vain, sir, to extenuate the matter. Gentlemen may cry, peace, peace, but there is no peace. The war has actually begun. The next gale that sweeps from the north will bring to our ears the clash of resounding arms. Our brethren are already in the field. We stand where we, yeah, why stand we hear idle. What is, yeah, okay. What is it that gentlemen wish? What would they have? Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it. Almighty God, I know not what course what others may take, but as for me, 
give me liberty or give me death. Sorry, people, I'm not good at reading. Just a little bit more about me. I am an oath keeper. And, uh, well, very libertarian leaning person. Leave you with that. Again, everything's open. Leave a video, leave your comments. Won't be blocked. I want to hear from y'all. Please. Peace.